Okay, hello, let's get started here. Welcome to this installment of the COM100 live chat product tour. This chapter will be focusing on the COM100 control panel. And over the next eight or nine minutes or so, we're gonna be taking a look at some of the ways that you can customize your live chat to look, feel, and function in a way that makes sense for your business and in a way that lets you get the most value out of live chat. This is where the groundwork gets laid for great customer experience through chat and the true power of our product is stored. So when you log into COM100, this is what you're going to see. This is the dashboard, and it's a real-time view into everything that's happening in your live chat world. As you can see, not much is happening in mine right now, but some of the stuff that you can look at here is how many agents are in chats, how long your queue length is, how many people are on your website right now, etc. And on the left, you can see there's a lot of different tabs to choose from. Uh, so today, I'm not going to take you through each one. Rather, I'm going to demonstrate how you can ensure your chats are getting routed to the agents best suited to handle them. So depending on how your organization is structured, you might have different teams or different departments on chat, and depending on who someone is and what they're looking to chat about, you wanna make sure that the agent who picks up the chat is the person who's actually suited to handle that inquiry. Everyone has had the experience, especially over phone, of being tossed around between different departments before they get to talk to someone who can actually help them. And with COM100, you can make this experience a thing of the past. So in this case, I'm going to start by setting up my departments. And I'm going to start here because I want to separate my team into different groups based on the conversations I want them to handle. In this case, I'm doing it by business unit. I have a support department, a sales department, and a marketing department. And this is a pretty common way of doing things. But I could easily be doing this by geography. So if I had a separate team in Spain, I could give them their own department, or maybe I have a tier two customer care team, and that might be another good use case of departments. In this menu, I can easily see the agents in these departments, and if I go in and edit one of these departments, I can add or remove existing agents as well. So I'm just gonna get out of here. Okay. The next thing I'd wanna do after I had set up my departments is configure my campaigns. Now, campaigns are a common hundred feature that allows you to change the way your live chat looks and functions depending on where it's deployed on your website. And in this case, I've got separate campaigns for each one of my departments, and you can imagine this making sense. The purpose and needs around chat are going to be significantly diff different for a support department versus a sales department. So some of the customization that's available to me at the campaign level is changing the way my chat button looks, changing the way my chat window looks. I can even change the contents of my pre-chat survey. You know, my support team is probably going to want different questions answered before a chat begins than my sales team would. Or if I had different language versions of my website, I want to make sure that my pre-chat survey is actually in the language of the people who are going to be asked to fill it out. I can also configure the way that my proactive chat invitations work. For my sales campaign, I'm probably going to want to utilize proactive chat to fuel conversations around buying behavior and conversions. And for my support team, I might use proactive chat to intercede when someone is having problems. So you can easily configure different rules and different messages here for each one of your campaigns. But today we're interested in this tab, the routing rules tab. Each campaign has its own unique set of routing rules. And in this case, my campaigns mirror my departments. So it would be fairly simple to create routing rules, which just direct every chat that comes through my support campaign to my support department. But we can get so much more granular than that with our custom routing rules. And I'll show you what I mean here. So what's important to note is that we cook your visitors and monitor them in real time. And we can use this browsing data to route chats effectively. So we could create a rule which says, Anyone who lands on my pricing page, regardless of campaign, I want them to be handled by my sales department. Or another rule which says, even if someone is on my English version of my website, if they're coming in from Spain, I want them going to my Spanish speaking department. I can also use data collected from my pre-chat survey to route chats. And I can even bring in data from third party apps and use that to route chats. In this case, I have an integration with Salesforce that lets me use fields within that as part of my routing rules. Maybe I want to create one which says, if someone comes in from a key account, I want to make sure they are put in touch with their account manager directly. So you can see how complex this can get. But for my use case, I don't have to get that complex. I'm just going to change this so that chats are no longer going directly to me in the support department. They're actually going to the whole team. So select the support department, hit save. 
we're good to go. Okay, so now that I have my department set up, I have a campaign set for each one of those departments, and I have routing rules within each one of my campaigns. I can be sure that when someone comes and chats on my website, that they're gonna be routed to the right department. But how do I set up how those chats are distributed within those departments? That's where our auto allocation feature comes into play. If you have departments with 10, 20, or 1,000 agents, you're gonna to wanna to make use of chat allocation. And we have three different ways of doing that. First, we can do it through load balancing, which ensures an even distribution among chat agents. Round robin, which says I get a chat, then the next agent, and then the next agent. Or we can do it through capability weighting, which distributes chats to agents based on their individual chat concurrency. And I'll show you how to configure that in a second. You can even have it so the last agent a visitor chatted with is preferred over others. This is great for maintaining customer experience continuity and for making sure that agents with the most context are the ones handling the conversation. Beyond that, you can set up backup departments which can take over when a department can't take any more chats. Sometimes when a team is completely slammed, it can be worth it to let visitors chat with a different department instead of forcing them to wait in the queue. Finally, as I mentioned before, I can configure the individual chat capacity for my agents below here. Let's say Kay is a brand new agent and I will only want her handling half the chats of my more experienced agents. I can easily set that up right here. Okay, so simple as that. I've configured everything in a way that I'm confident that when customers go to chat on my website, they're gonna get an agent that's capable of handling their specific inquiry. That was a pretty simple use case for our product, and there's a lot more here, and I hope I teased at some of that within this demo. But before I go, I wanted to talk about one more thing. This is the overall COM100 tech stack. This series is completely live chat focused, but that's just one piece of the overall picture here at COM100. We also offer channel-based solutions for ticketing, SMS, and social media. We offer a knowledge management product, we have our own AI-based intelligent assistants, including chatbots and our new agent assist product. All of these tools are brought together within our unified agent console. So if you're interested in seeing any of these solutions, or if you just want to go deeper on live chat, please reach out to us at letschat.com100.com or chat with us on our website. That's all for now, and I hope you enjoyed this installment of the COM100 live chat product tour.